hi guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl og og signature so guys it's been a while since i tried filming a tutorial video here so if this is your first time on my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button like comment and share so guys on today's video i'll be showing you guys how to tie a bridal ghillie but i'm using a anashibi size of ghillie not a bridal size of ghillie so guys our measurement is actually um 60 14 if you have watched one of my videos you see where i explained briefly on how to do the measurement of a thing if you haven't just check one of my video where i did a tutorial on how to style a v-shaped gilly so guys i'll first of all pick my four pleats that's the base when i once i pick the first plate i try to extend my plate downward toward the ear while she's holding the other part of the ear i try so hard to trace down my pleat down to the ear why my mother hold back the side that i've just done why i go back to the other side and i pick the same thing toward the ears i always make sure they're on top of each other then she hold then i move straight to the back sorry guys i was able to show the back of this tutorial of video this video this tutorial i was just the only one with the makeup artist and makeup artist was actually busy doing something so she wouldn't be able to help me out so all i did was to go to the back I cross the shorter one goes up. That's the shorter part of the scarf. When after the measurement, the shorter one goes up, while the longer one comes under. So I'm giving her the shorter one, which went inside first. Then I hold down the one, the longer part, which went directly down. So guys, she hold down that short one. She just hold it down firmly while I start working with the longer part. That's the sixty um, inches part. So why the size she's holding is. 30 sorry the 40 inches i always assume that my whole scarf is 100 inches i just hope you guys are understanding what i'm saying because i know i was trying so hard to know how to just do the talking because i was able to do the talking while i was tying the scarf because of the lot of noise on the background so guys all i need to do now is to start picking my pleats i pick the first the second the third and the fourth pleat i'm just picking four pleats remember our base was four then this other part that i'm picking now should be four pleats too and make sure they are on top of each other they are not supposed to be spaced because this, we are trying to form the crown part of the ghillie so right now i try to extend my pleats downward toward the ear i'll make sure as i say make sure they are all on top of each other so i trace down to the ear part so once i'm done tracing all i need to do is to tell my mother to hold her ears like together with the scarf because i'm going back going to the back to tie and it might mistakenly shift or it might not shift but to avoid story that touch the heart i always tell my mother to hold the scarf together with on their ear so all i need to do now is to head over to the back sorry guys at this point i was trying to adjust my camera yes because i wasn't even sure if i was getting everything i was just talking about right now so i head over to the back now i am tying with the shorter part that she was holding initially i will tie with the shorter part and then this four that i just picked now that she was she's holding so i'll tie those two together at the back i'm so sorry i wasn't able to show this i, I keep apologizing i wasn't able to show this i know some of you will complain about it in the comment section but watch one of my videos especially that one how to tie a v-shaped ghillie you see how i do the tying at the back so right now i come to the front if you watch perfectly well after my tying you'll notice that the ears are very neat toward the ears are very neat so here i was just trying to pull back the scarf a little bit backward so that to bring out my model's face so right now i'll just start picking my pleats gently from the middle to the side ensure that whatever size of the pleats you're picking in the middle is same that you're dropping by the sides so i keep picking my pleats gently all the way up all the way up i keep picking so that was exactly what i was doing So guys at this point if you notice from i actually told you guys that i'm working with four lines of ghillie i'm done picking like 
like the two parts of the gele like joined like you know the gele is four lines i'm done picking like the first two parts right now it's running two other parts all i need to do now is to get to get that all part of my scarf that is kind of free and loose all i need to do is to pick more in the middle and less by the side more in the middle and less at the side that will make the middle part tend to finish quick why the side is still remaining which end up forming the fan part so if you watch closely on this video you will notice that while i pick from the middle and less by the side the middle you tend to finish quickly and then i end up forming like some a fan effect by the size of the ear so that's exactly what i'm doing right now i'll do gently pick my pleat right now and form that fan effect by the side don't mind me i'm just trying to make sure my camera is showing everything so i just gently pick this side to get that fan effect down to her ear so guys you just watch me and see how i picked i was moving down i made sure that the next fan effect that is coming must be lesser than the one before it yeah so while i pick and extend down to the ear i'll just tell my mother to help me hold down this is same thing i'm going to be doing by the other side right now i already have my middle picked yeah when i was getting this other side what i need to do is to trace down to get the lesser parts more from the middle less from the from the sides to get sent enough actually from the other side i don't know if you guys are getting what i'm saying actually but i think the video is doing justice kind of to what i am saying so right now you notice i've gotten my own fan effect by this other side too so i always do not tie that part i tell my model to hold till i'm sure that i've gotten my fan effect by this side so right now it's obvious i've gotten my fan effect and both sides are kind of equal i'm not a magician but they're kind of equal so i head over to the back right now here's when i tied initially the i tied twice i did tying twice all i need to do is to open up the first time and then fix this this stuff that i'm carrying out to the back the remaining part of the scarf i fix it at the middle and then just retie so that's it if you've not watched how to style a v-shaped gele just head over to my video that was one of my first tutorials you guys will see how i was able to do the tying at the back i said i wasn't able to get the back side of this video because it was just me and nobody to help me with the whole kind of the camera around so i'll just use my pin right now to do the adjusting if there's anything that is not sitting pretty well the way i like i'll just use my pin to hold it down that's just that though and our scarf is good and we are good to go if you're a wedding guest you're already good to go if you're a bride this is perfect for you no too much drama you're already looking beautiful with your clothes all slayed so guys i'll just cover up the back of the scarf right now the remaining part of the scarf that is remaining I'll just cover it up with pain if the hair is good i always open up for the hair to show but if the hair is bad i cover it up so guys i think that's just the end and our gele is standing out unique. You guys can see it, obviously. Now, wow, let me be this. Now, bride, you be. I'm going to it for me so that this thing will pop. Please follow me on Instagram. Uh-uh. I will talk. I will talk. Uh-uh. She will do this. Let me, let me, let me, hear it so guys we've come to the end of this tutorial and it was an exciting one trying to film this video no mind that there was a lot of noise so i had to do the whole voice over everything so guys if you guys enjoy watching this don't feel to hit the subscribe button like comment and share i'll see you guys on my next video i'll try to put the makeup artist handle on the screen so you guys can follow her up too bye so, 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 so.